Hello everyone, Gifted Soul here back for another video and in this video we are going to be unboxing the Whispers of the Ocean Oracle Card Deck by Angela Hartfield. The artwork is by Ekaterina Golovanova. Uh, extreme apologies if I am mispronouncing that. It is never intentional. So I have been waiting for this baby to come in. It actually has felt like I have been waiting for weeks when in reality I only waited two days so um yeah so it came in pretty fast i've been debating on getting it and it's not because um i didn't want the deck or my research made me not want it no it's a beautiful deck and i've wanted it from the start of me seeing certain videos um lisa papas she did a video on it recently that i came across and it was always in my wish list, not the one that you guys would see, not my public wish list, but I had it on my private wish list. Um, and I just never got it. And then I saw her video and then I researched other videos and it was never a question of whether I wanted it or not. I did want it. It's just that, you know, I'm trying not to buy a whole lot of decks. Um, not because I don't have the money, but simply because I'm trying to be more mindful of what I'm spending and yes um all of the oracle decks and stuff that i purchased is simply to use for you guys it's not just for me to have but it's definitely to help you guys out uh, my clientele and my subscribers for pick a card readings and things like that but um yeah so um so yeah so i do also have like a under the sea type of themed reading that i wanted to make available for purchase on my Etsy shop and I've had that for a while I even have had the listing typed up and everything I just was missing another oceanic or mermaid themed type of de deck and here we are with this one and this is going to make a perfect addition to the other oracle decks and the tarot decks that I was going to use for that particular reading um and it was going to be accompanied with for example the mermaid tarot by Lisa Robertson um the uh, Oceanic Tarot by Jane Wallace and just to name a few Oracle of the Mermaids by Lucy Cavendish, all that type of things um, or all of those kind of decks. But let's go ahead and get started. I've been rambling a little too much. So got this on Amazon for about, uh, I think it was like maybe 22 or 23 three dollars or so with like tax and everything i can't remember but it wasn't expensive it's very affordable um so as you can see i got the scissors ready and no i did not intentionally make this match um these are just the kinds of scissors that were you know and i don't know what's this that's on them but it looks like my nieces and nephews have been messing with these or why they have are playing with scissors i don't know but <laughs> anyway um so i don't do i even yeah i'm gonna uh, it looks like it was kind of okay so all right so angela hartfield has quite a few decks on the market um i'm trying to think if i have i can't think off the top of my head but i think i do have um I'm not, I don't even know, but we'll see. So, Whispers of the Ocean's Oracle by Angela Hartfield. So, let's read the back of the box. Immerse yourself in the wisdom of the deep. And it says, I'm trying to get that light. Enjoy the flow and master the currents of your life with playful dolphins, patient seahorses, regenerative starfish, and other fascinating marine beings. Ask for questions, shuffle the cards, and tap into the intelligence and grace of our planet's rich healing and revitalizing oceans for divination, direction, and decision making. The sumptuous new collaboration from Angela Hartfield and Ekaterina Golovanova, sorry if I'm saying it wrong, delves beneath the surface and connects you with ancient, ancient knowing and wondrous companions so you can draw on greater strengths, replenish your reserves, turn the tide on uncertainty and emerge with clarity purpose and confidence powerful versatile and sensitive whispers of the ocean will help you ride the waves of life so you can come out on top dive into this gloriously illustrated 50 card deck and guidebook set and marvel at the beauty forgotten treasures and 
hidden wonders within you. So as you can see, they have about eight previews of the cards in the deck. Awesome. So if you see this at your local spiritual shop or what have you, you'll be able to kind of take a look at what to expect. Um, one spiritual shop that I went to, mind you, there are no local spiritual shops here. I would have to go out of town, but my sister was staying in one place and um, she was close to a couple of spiritual shops and they would let you actually play with um, or get your hands on copies of certain decks without paying for it first. Not like letting you walk out the store with it, but you know how they have like um, just copies of something and they just let you play with it and go through it and, you know, see if you connect to something type of thing. Um but it's kind of like a try before you buy without actually leaving the store with it, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, in this case, I have to get most of my decks. I've gotten only two decks from a spiritual shop. Um, the rest of my decks, my babies come from online. So let's go ahead and open up this box. I have been waiting and waiting and waiting on this deck. It is ridiculous. Um, when I say waiting and waiting, like I said before, uh, I didn't wait long, but it felt, it felt, when you really want something, it feels like you're waiting in eternity for it. So, uh, but there's the box. It's very pretty blue, sea blue, if you will, I guess you can say ocean blue. Very pretty. Love this box. It's kind of like matte. Uh, wow. Um, I'm going to put where I'm recording at the moment. It's not big enough for me to sit everything on. So we're going to look at the guidebook here. Um, and the thing is with guidebooks, I'm not a guidebook girl. Now there are some decks, like if there are, um, decks with cards in them where you don't normally hear a word often and either I would have to look it up or I have to dive into the guidebook now, um, like a strange type of, you know, word or word or phrases yes i will look into the guidebook for that but like for these cards from what i've seen so far i will not have to do that um and yeah i work intuitively for the most part but i do sometimes go in the guidebook just to get the creator's perspective on the deck and what each card meant from you know but so let's see, we have the card messages, which is the table of contents. We have an introduction about the art, artist and the author, more so like, most likely at the back of the book as always. Um, this is Blue Angel, I think. Let me, yeah, Blue Angel. Okay, so, so we have the introduction, and I, I'm just going to read to this here i'm not going to read the whole page you can pause and read it all if you would like um this life on earth originated in the ocean this is a place of creativity fertility opportunity and birth it is also cleansing healing and releasing the ocean has been referred to in song and poetry as the sea of life or the sea of love and in some ways has come to signify spirituality and energy for some the large mass of water symbolizes the collective unconsciousness of humanity others say the ocean can represent our emotional depths our memories or our source the ancient mother however you look at it Life is a spiritual journey in the ocean and its inhabitants hold many meanings and messages that can assist us as we all partake on this journey. Um, so, talk some more about the cards. And of course, we're going to have spreads and stuff. We have preparing your cards, which honestly, like I said in another video, is that you do not have to go by completely what the guidebook says make it your own do your own rituals um your own prayers things like that we have ask a question and then we have some spreads we have the five pointed star spread we have the six card spread which is the answer spread i'm very surprised that they don't include a three card past present and future spread or a single card reading but like i said you can do these even without it being in the guidebook so um let's see we have okay so this is 
with the messages look like for each card we have the black and white reproduction the keyword on the card the number also and then the synopsis that is on the card followed by additional um synopsis at the that is not on the card so that is how it goes for every card um Let's see, we have other decks by Angela Hartfield and other decks by Blue Angel that you can find. And about the artists, of course, and about the authors. So that is the guidebook. And in total, we have 123 pages. So that is the guidebook. So I can't, honestly, I feel like I might actually use this more. Just because, I don't know, this deck is really, really exciting. Like, I watched, I must have watched like 10 videos or so of this deck. Like, I'm not kidding you. So, our favorite part, the cards. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I don't know. But I haven't gotten this excited about a new deck in forever. Like, I always get excited to get new decks in. But this one is just like I'm really, really hyped for. And I don't know why. But... Um, usually I just slide that off, but I'm going to do it the difficult way. I want you guys to see me actually taking it off if I can, but normally you can just slide it off. You don't even have to have scissors. I'm just being extra, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so this is what they look like on the back. They are kind of a matte type of thing. Now what I will, it looks like they're thick as well. Now what I will say is that um there are borders now borders do not bother me as much as they would some other people um i'm able to kind of block that out sometimes borders kind of distract people from the messages of the cards or the images and it's just kind of um i guess maybe overwhelming for some people but for me borders have not bothered me that much i'm able to just see right past them as if they're not there um however what you will notice is that there are no borders on the other side which is going to be the most important part to some people who don't like borders so there's that um let's see so we have the cards and i think i'm going to read through all of them because what i noticed in other people's videos is that they did not um read the messages on the cards now yes you can look at them at them but for some reason i kind of wanted to hear people verbally speaking out the uh messages and the keywords and stuff on the card i don't know why and they were doing only one card or a few card one you know every other card and i don't know why but i just wanted to hear the messages to see like if i connected with each one but Honestly, I connected with this deck at love at first sight, basically. So, um, but yeah, so we have re very thick cards. Very. Okay. Resilience. There is no need to rush or push. This is a time to take things as they come. You have the determination and patience to handle what is happening. So, and I think I'm just going to put these over here one by one so we have diving into new depths we have there is a deeper meaning to what is happening you may be looking at this from the surface and missing what is really going on take a moment to pause and breathe allow yourself to dive deeper into what it is you are feeling about your current situation okay so i'm just making sure i'm not you know forgetting any cards because they are thick so it makes it feels like it's just more than one card kind of stuck together um, so we have in the light of the moon card number three a full moon can shine light on what you have been resisting this can be anything from your fears to your soul's beauty okay uh, life is life is better together seek assistance from your community connect with family friends or others who will support you it could be as simple as making a phone call okay Ooh, i really love i really am in love with this deck so change direction with ease. This is a time for change, shape shifting, or your soul's evolution. It is a time to reconsider what you are wanting. You may be in for a surprise. Wow. Um, looking at the underbelly. Be sure that you are using your time in the best possible manner. You might consider taking time to organize yourself or perhaps a project you are working on could use some fine tuning. 
Okay, so in this case, we do have more than one step together. Um, we have Dancing at the Rainbow. Now, this is gorgeous. Like, that is... And look how it kind of ties together with the... Um, this tie-dye here. That is crazy. Um, so, break free from whatever you feel is holding you back. Express happiness. Find out what you truly desire. So, yeah, I'm, I definitely would recommend this for beginners for sure because I feel like not just the image intuitively speaks to a different level, to a higher level. Um, I don't know. I feel like this deck can raise vibrations as well because I'm noticing as I'm sitting here with this deck, I'm kind of like just a little bit more like, I don't know, like a little bit more like not necessarily in my comfort zone, but it's just like, I don't know. The art really speaks to you. The messages are really speaking to me very very vividly and i don't know i i just like that i just love that energy so pay attention to what is going on around you you might be moving into something too quickly or missing some important details so this is keeping it in check okay we have amble with contentment card number nine waiting rather than acting is going to be the most advantageous yes <laughs> now advantage uh, advantageous now okay yeah i'm not gonna even keep trying to say that but um we have every step counts there is an advantage of taking things slowly breathe deeply and fully as you consider your options persistent persistent drive uh see what you desire and move forward that goal move toward that goal it is time to zero in on your purpose use your intuition and instincts to guide you for the optimal outcome so we have replacing what was lost you now have the opportunity to rejuvenate and start new create a new perspective or outlook this card may also indicate abundance is on the horizon okay we have gliding through currents card number 13 with a different approach you will glide through a situation with grace and ease going inward and bringing you understanding perspective bring your understanding perspective your or behavior into flow will help your dreams take flight um so yeah i don't think it really talks about the at least in the guidebook i'm not exactly sure because i didn't flip all the way through it but um i don't know if they actually go over uh these fish or these sea creatures and beings like what they represent fully in the guidebook i'm not sure but I want to say, okay, so I am not exactly sure what just happened, but yeah, I'm just going to keep persevering through this video because I don't want to redo this. So uh, we have 14 single mindedness, choose your own path and what is best suited to you. Okay. So I think I'm just, instead of putting them here, I'm going to just put these in the box over here i was putting them on another thing but uh so adrift in shallow water take a few deep breaths and reconnect to your inner peace notice the small things and appreciate them we have inner desires set some intentions you are entering a phase of plenty or may have a sudden windfall goals are within your gasp or grasp safe and surrounded keep your heart open and know you are being protected listen to what you know to be true and allow yourself to see and understand what is going on around you and by the way these are not glossy cards at all um which i think honestly i think they went a good route with that though because i feel like I don't know. I feel like this deck is pretty much perfect. Like, I don't know what more you could want at a deck at this point. Um, but it says you are entering a transitional phase and would benefit from clearing away excess clutter, whether it is in your physical body or your physical space. So clearing the excess. We have polite de declaration. You can move in whatever direction direction you need to accomplish your goals it's time for you to get out there and claim 
It's time for you to get out there, claim what is yours, and stay in your power. Shared inspiration. Throw yourself into a new project. Be willing to let go of time constraints and rules and really be aware of whatever fulfills your heart. So what I, another thing is what I will say is so far, um, I have been looking at the reviews of this deck on Amazon and there is not one bad review except for, it's not even a bad review, but there is one particular review where they were kind of like the messages on the cards were generic. To me, they really are not because usually... I feel like these hit home more. You can do so much more intuitive with these than a typical angel deck or another oracle style type of deck um, that has messages or deeper meanings that are actually on the cards themselves. Um, the Whispers of the Ocean deck, I feel like, goes beyond generic messages because I feel like these are kind of more specific. Maybe it's just me, but... Um, yeah, so stay present and flexible. Many changes are going on for you and around you. These changes are not only good, but necessary. Bring your awareness into the now rather than focusing on the past or the future. So take note. Your answers are being given to you. Quiet, Quieting external voices and excessive noise will give you the chance to hear what is being offered. Okay. Let's see. Distinctive potential. Rely on your faith and acknowledge that nothing is impossible. Use your determination to hang in there until you realize a goal. Um, okay. Let's see. You love where you are. Use your sensitivity and use your sensitivity to know when to act. Connect your heart to your head when determining what you would like. Okay. See, I don't know that it goes. As a matter of fact, I am going to get the guidebook back out really quickly just to see if they do go over a little bit of what each of these creatures may have to offer um, guidance-wise. Um, so in this card here, the Shared Inspiration... It does kind of talk about the dolphin in general, but not like, um, I don't know that it goes over any specifics of the dolphin itself, not just like, um, I don't know. I'm going to have to work with this, but let's get back to the cards before we're going to be here too long. So love where you are. Okay. We've already read that. Breakthrough to new dimensions. A new endeavor is on the horizon. Innovative energy wants to burst forth into your consciousness. So it's a lot better, honestly, for me to read these cards when they are... Um, I have to not look into the camera. I have to look at the cards because, I don't know, somehow it's kind of a little too... Um, it's, I don't know. I can see it a little bit better for some reason, but okay. So where you need to be and knowledge, how you are feeling, how faith in the universe will take care of a current concern by providing the best possible outcome for all involved. Um, yeah, so these are super, 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 super thick cards, but that just means that your cards may last a little bit longer. Now, as far as shuffling, these are probably going to be a little bit difficult, but um, I'm just, honestly, I will look past it because this deck is gorgeous. And honestly, I just, I don't know. How can you not be grateful for this deck? You may have become complacent. You might be stalling or in need of a new surge of energy. Become aware of the dynamics in your life. So push to surface. Um, seeing both sides, take a step back and try looking at this from a different perspective. Okay. I'm having to make sure that it's not more than one card stuck together because they're so thick. So empower yourself, tune into your personal power. You are more than able to handle the situation facing you. Allow yourself to be the strong, beautiful person you are capable of being. And I really love these purples in this as well. Surrounded by prosperity, pay attention. 
Um, I don't know why I said pay attention. Your attention is being drawn to the infinite nature of reality that which exists outside the known is beyond measure. So when I said pay attention by accident, now sometimes spirit will randomly give me messages in different ways. So it's possible that that wasn't even an accident. Maybe spirit is guiding this one specific person or maybe a few people watching this video that maybe you need to pay attention to something or pay attention to maybe prosperity being around you currently and i'm gonna you know in different ways you may not see that prosperity but i feel like possibly that it's prosperity there around you but you're not you're kind of not seeing it for some reason so just pay it uh you know be mindful of that basically so hey um Mutually beneficial venture. There's an extraordinary connection at the forefront of your life at this moment. Utilize this relationship to benefit everyone concerned. So anybody that is a fan of Finding Nemo, I feel like this would be, you know, a good card to kind of do, you know, go down memory lane with, if that makes any sense, but um 32 total submersion don't be afraid to totally immerse yourself in a project interest or goal give it 100 percent of your energy and you may find that what your life has been lacking um so let your personality shine you have something no one else has that makes you who you are stop comparing yourself to others and allow your uniqueness to shine through okay we have the gift of neutrality um balance is at work in your life yin and yang are opposites in energy but reside each uh, reside side by side to create the gift of neutrality okay help appears in various ways all right there is much support for you sometimes that may sometimes you may get so adrift you forget to look at the support systems that are with you continually so blend into the environment. Um, you have many skills and can fit into any and can fit into any situation. Take time to assess what is going on around you and adapt accordingly. All right, we have look beyond the surface. Avoid becoming distracted by surface issues. Focus on the underlying motivation, cause, or beauty in a situation. Seek ways to bring depth into or to your world okay all right 38 shedding the old we have there is a change coming your way cultivate a sense of adventure so you will be able to see these new prospects all right back on task be sure you are using your time in the best possible manner you might consider reviewing your goals your schedule okay so i kind of i clicked the wrong button here but we were on back on task. Be sure you're using your time in the best possible manner. You might consider reviewing your goals, your schedule, or a project you are working on. All could use some fine tuning. Okay. And then we have rediscover your zeal. Pay attention to the passion you are feeling for discovery, learning, exploration, spirituality, travel, your work, or your relationship. Passion and desire go together, especially as inspiration. Okay, so we have 41, convey your meaning, reflect on the way you communicate with others and with yourself. Be sure to express your thoughts and feelings from your heart and with respect and sincerity. That's number 41. We have gentle moderation. Take your time. Pressure from others or yourself can be released by renegotiating what you are trying to accomplish. So this is 42, gentle moderation. Okay um yeah so we have setting up perimeters assess your relationships and determine how they are aligned with your goals setting boundaries requires an honest evaluation of your present relationships so setting up perimeters or parameters because i feel like that's not supposed to be spelt like that but maybe i'm thinking of another word that's close to it but I don't know. Um, unexplained wonder. 
Magical blessings and miracles are reoccurring in your life. All our prayers, all your prayers are answered now. So that 44 unexplained wonder. Okay. Alrighty. So leaping through the air. I a plan you have made is on track. If you are waiting for something, get to work and stop putting off ideas or projects you are considering. So leaping through the air. Facing your fears, look for ways to strengthen your connection to the universe and others. Stay peaceful and calm in the knowing of who you are. Okay, connect the source, go within to discover what needs to be done. Create the shift required to attract what you want. Okay, disengage from outcomes. Let go so you can open yourself to the highest love that you deserve. Find ways to release worry or any unresolved lack of forgiveness you might be holding on to. So 48. And then we have be insightful and established. 49. Ground and rebalance your energy. Bring your awareness into the now rather than allowing it to occupy the past or future. So, yeah. And then the last card is childlike devotion. And I'm so happy that they did include like some type of uh, message um, relative to inner child work. So we have you are a multi-talent complex being embrace and love who you are. So that's kind of like um, it's a couple of other cards where they talk about being who you are and loving who you are. But um, some of the messages may be sounding kind of a little repetitive not completely it's not bad to the point where i would never want to use it but um thing is focus on more so not even the message but i can pull a lot just from this one phrase or keyword here so um but yeah so that is the whispers of the ocean oracle by angela hartfield um so again, it does come with a lovely guidebook, 50 cards. Okay, so that is my unboxing of the Whispers of the Ocean um, Oracle deck by Angela Hartfield. Um, I definitely do recommend this deck so far. Um, now we'll be using it in upcoming live streams, maybe for free messages. So stop by. And what I would likely be doing is just reading the message on the card, giving you or leaving room for your interpretation and your own intuition without me giving my input on it. So that's what to what's to expect. Um, the messages are pretty self-explanatory, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing that, but that is one of the main reasons why I got this, because in my live streams, I have started um, doing more free general messages where I am just pulling different decks that have like different messages or affirmations on them to give you something to think about rather than just giving you a whole story. You write your own story in these um, particular messages that I am giving. But stay tuned for that. I'll do those every once in a while, every other day, whenever I feel called to. Um, but do stop by. Everybody is welcome in my streams and on my channel. But do like, share, comment, subscribe if you like what you see here. If you are a new subscriber, welcome. If you are day one or pretty, you know, fairly, um, what's the word? If you've been here for a while, um years months welcome back um and thank you for being here but yeah so that is what i have for this lovely beautiful deck here and i hope i can see you guys in the next one wish you guys love and life take care bye for now